I'm home alone again. Quarantine day number... I don't know at this point. Today is a sad day for me because uh, I'm getting rid of my iPhone 8 Plus. I'm gonna sell it because I have two phones. I got this one, then I got my XR. I've had it for two, more than two years. I love this phone, but I'm sad, I'm sad. <laughs> you know, but changes are good. <laughs> okay, it's not that serious, come on. <laughs> Ash, what the heck is wrong with you? What's up, what's going on? You want the window open? Come on this side, come, come. Come on this side. What did I do to you? No. Why are you trying to scratch me? Why are you trying to scratch me? Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. He got me. He got me good. Look. You see the scratches right there. Probably wondering why I got toilet paper wrapped around my hand. See, I don't want to have to call 911. I don't want to take someone who's actually infected with the virus. I don't want to take their bed. But anyways, today I got a new video for you guys. It's going to be a video of questions. Funny questions to ask. Get ready for a hilarious conversation. Let's quickly make sure that this wound isn't going to require medical attention. It's looking fine to me, right? I'm telling you. Toilet paper works. It's no wonder people were fighting for it. It works. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing 2 chains. 2 chains happens to be my favorite rapper. I'm just kidding, not really. So I told you guys I was gonna make this video of random questions. Questions that you can ask anyone and just get their opinion on it. That's really what this video is about. You just, just to get people's opinion. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to have to have a diploma to be able to answer these questions. You don't have to have a college degree. During this whole quarantine thing, you know, I found myself bored. So today, you know, I'm gonna give you guys something entertaining, something entertaining to watch while you guys are quarantining with me. Okay, so these questions, you can find them on Google. Type in, 25 funniest questions to ask someone. The best 10 questions to ask a guy. The top five important questions to ask a girl. Anything. Alex isn't here today, so I gotta make this video by myself. We don't need her to be entertaining. We don't need her to make this video any more entertaining than it already will be. So it's okay. I can entertain you guys the whole time. I'll make this funny with or without her this video is funny anyways no one asked me to make this video no one asked me you know to make a video of like the top 20 25 questions that you would ask someone the top funny questions that you would ask another person and get their opinion on like you know i actually created a, a, a another twitter account and i sent myself a tweet asking if i can make this video so in a way if you think about it i could Somebody did kind of ask me to make this video. I'm not gonna make this any longer. Let's just get into it. First question. Okay. I'm looking at the list of questions and I'm starting to realize that you might, you might need to be a little bit smart to answer some of these questions. But anyways, the first one is pretty easy. Is cereal soup, why or why not? This is like my topic. Cereal is like, I can talk to you about cereal. Can't really talk to you about like what it's made out of, how they make it or stuff like that. But I can talk to you about flavors, how this cereal tastes compared to that cereal and which is my favorite cereal, stuff like that. But the question is if cereal is soup or not. This is cereal, right? I think that a soup, you would have to cook it like on a pot or something. It has to be boiling, has to be in liquid form. Like you gotta put like water, something, you know, liquid in it to like make it into like a soup. That's that's what I think of a soup. I don't think cereal is a soup because you're not cooking it. You got the cereal and you grab the milk and you just pour it on a bowl. I don't think cereal is soup at all. Next question. What is the sexiest and least sexy name? The sexiest name, I think it's Lewis. Oh wait, that's my name. It can't be me. It gotta be someone else. I think Phoebe is one of them. Penelope, Robin, I think Alex. <laughs> Not cause she's my wife, but you know, cause she's sexy. The least sexy would be, I'm, I'm going just based on females. But the least sexiest name for me would be like a Martha or something. Like 
Martha, Maria, like, I don't know. I don't find those names sexy. What secret conspiracy would you like to start? Damn, secret conspiracy that... Next question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Yes, I think it's a sandwich because just because it looks different from like a normal sandwich does not make it not a sandwich. I think it's a sandwich because they got the two buns, the two buns are attached, and then they got the weenie. Same thing, just like the sandwich, two buns, they're not attached, but you got the ham. So I think a hot dog is a sandwich. All right, next question. What's the most ridiculous fact you know? The most ridiculous fact I know is this. Don't ask me where I heard this, but I heard it. The human body contains enough fat to make seven bars, seven bars, seven bars, seven bars, seven bars of soap. Have you seen me? Let me show you what I look like. Does that look like seven bars of soap to you? My body contains seven bars of soap. Look how skinny I am, like. That's the most ridiculous fact I've, I know. This body right here, that's more like two bars of soap right there. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? Next question, what is the funniest joke you know by heart? How do you weigh a millennial? In Instagrams, how do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? If my pizza doesn't have any pineapple, I don't want to eat it. Like, it feels dry. I think pineapple can coexist with pizza. And for those who don't think so, you probably just like your food dry or something. I, I at least got to have some pineapple. Without it, it just wouldn't taste the same. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you in school? <sighs> this was embarrassing to me. I had... I'm not even sure what the term is. What is it called? Is it is called? Is it called when you want to fart all day? Flat flatulence? Flatulence can make you feel uncomfortable. You have excessive flat flatulence if you fart more than 20 times per day. It's actually called for those who don't know. If you don't know, I'm about to teach you a new word. It's called flatulence. Flatulence. Am I pronouncing that right? All right, let's see if I'm saying this right. Flatulence. Flatulence. So I had flatulence and I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop farting because my stomach was hurting and I was sitting like this, like with my butt sticking out like this on the chair. And so my butt was sticking out and behind me there was uh, this girl that I had a crush on. You know when you feel like you want to fart, but you don't want to fart because you don't want anyone, you don't want your classmates to hear your fart. So, I couldn't hold it. Well, I'm gonna just be honest with you, I couldn't hold it. So, I, I blanked out because I was talking to the classmate in front of me. I was having this whole ass conversation. For some reason, my brain made me think that I was home and I wasn't. <laughs> All of a sudden, everyone goes, <gasps> it took me about five seconds after I released the fart that I realized that I was actually in school. As soon as I realized, I kind of like balled up like of embarrassment and everyone was like, <gasps> and everyone stood quiet. And there was like this moment of silence when I realized that the girl I had a crush on was sitting behind me and I farted on her. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. I probably shouldn't have shared that story.